Jack Daniels took a little trip to Mexico, folks. So Jack Daniels has introduced their Distillery Series Selection Number 11, a Tennessee whiskey finished in Añejo Tequila barrels, which marry the flavors of agave and oak. That's right, an Añejo Tequila finished Jack Daniels. Just when you think, what else could Jack Daniels do to surprise us all? Here we are. Let's unpack it all. It's the Mash and Drum. What's up folks, I'm Jason C from The Master and Drum and welcome back to the show. Like, subscribe, and help grow the channel for 2023 Whiskey Tube family. So Jack Daniels really utilizes these for you know experimental reasons. I think they kind of like to throw them out there, see what sticks, see what gets popular, see what gains traction to maybe bring a more you know widespread release. That's what we saw with the original Tennessee Tasters with that the Barrel Proof Rye, which has now become one of the best releases they've ever come out with. Uh, we've seen some other toasted products. We've seen some other finishes come out. We've seen some blends come out. So I'm gonna get this poured, and before we dive into the details, I want you to hear from another great partner on the Mash and Drum. It's today's sponsor, Geology. All right, guys, I know skincare may not be at the top of your list, but I have to tell you, Geology has changed my skin entirely. I wanted to look better behind the camera, and being 45 years old, trying not to look like the oldest guy on Whiskey Tube gets more challenging each and every day, but Geology has really helped me turn back the clock a bit. What Geology does is create simple and effective skincare and hair care routines customized just for you with ingredients that are proven to work. Now products are built around just a handful of powerful proven ingredients that have been trusted by dermatologists for decades. Now for me, I tend to get dry skin and I also have uncles and other men in my family that get circles under their eyes, which is something I really wanted to avoid. Uh, so all I did was go to their website, took their skincare quiz and got routine number 28 which includes an everyday face wash, a morning cream, a night cream, and my favorite product, the eye cream. It's not rocket science, guys. It's all laid out for you. Just follow the routine and see the results in just a few weeks. To be honest, keeping my skin looking smooth and diminishing the circles under my eyes has always been a challenge for me. By the way, Geology is a 22-time award-winning skin, hair, and body care company recognized in Men's Health, Hype Beast, Esquire, and Ask Men's Grooming Awards. Not only is Geology the best in the skincare game, but they have also released a ton of new amazing hair, body, and other skin products. So whatever you need, Geology has you covered. So if you wanna look and feel better, here's how. Right now, for a limited time, Geology is hooking you guys up with an absolutely insane offer. Use my code MASHINGDRUM70 or scan the QR code on the screen right now and they will give you an exclusive 70% off their award-winning skincare trial set. On top of that, you can save big on the add-on products of your choice when you add it to your trial. This is one of the best offers you will see from Geology, so get it before it's gone. Thanks to Geology for partnering with The Mass and Drum, and thank you for making the sponsors happen. Now go get some Geology, guys, so you can look and feel your best. All right, so the first American White Oak Barrels for this experimental whiskey. First, aged Jack Daniels Tennessee Whiskey. Then, those same barrels then matured Añejo Tequila in Mexico before returning back to Lynchburg to finish this Tennessee whiskey. All right, so I had to do a little research. I don't really know tequila very well. I feel like it's something I need to get into because people I know are getting more and more into tequila. So for the tequila ignorant like I was, there are three major classifications of 100% agave tequila. You have Blanco, Resposado, and Añejo. The flavors of each of these tequila types are largely affected by how they're distilled and how long they are aged in oak barrels. Blanco or silver is tequila in its purest form, sometimes called the essence of tequila by distillers. They are clear in color and are usually bottled directly following the last distillation, and these are normally used for mixing. Now, Reposado sees a little bit of aging in oak barrels, generally from a few months to a year, which gives it a little bit of a darker color. The slight aging helps tame kind of that strong agave flavor without masking it. The rounded out and smoother flavor makes it perfect for heavier or more complex tequila drinks. Now, Añejo, which was used in this finished whiskey, brings the premium sipping tequila experience. This has aged in oak barrels the longest, generally from one to three years, and Añejo showcases the flavor of agave, but can bring vanilla, caramel, and butterscotch flavors like you normally get with a bourbon barrel. Usually it's sipped neat, and as we now see, it's good enough to finish some Jack Daniels in. All right, final details. This was selected by whiskey taster Danny Lamb. Selection number 11 is bottled at 90 proof and is now available in 375 milliliter bottles with a suggested retail price of $41.99 at the White Rabbit Bottle Shop at the Jack Daniel Distillery and 
in select stores in Tennessee. Let's dive in. So I have to go back to like my college roots to uh, like try to figure out the tequila in this because I, I think that's the last time I maybe had tequila, so. But if you guys are watching and you have any really good tequilas that I should be trying, like good sipping tequilas, leave them down in the chat. I would actually appreciate it. So I think when I, you know, when you read the description uh, from Chris Fletcher where it says, it gives you the agave, but also gives you some nice, it, it keeps the backbone of what the Jack Daniels flavor profile is. I think that's exactly what it smells like. I think I do get some of those tequila notes. I do remember what tequila at least smells like. So I feel like I'm getting the agave, but I'm also getting that Jack Daniels banana note. I mean, it's pretty light. It's got some nice spice to it. But on top of that, I think I get a lot of honey. Got some vanilla too. Again, that spice is there. But you know, overall, it's got a nice sweetness to this. It's not, it's not like, I don't, I don't feel like this has been taken over by tequila by any, you know, shape or form, but let's give it a try. So for me on the front of the pal, this was all Jack Daniels, but on the back end, that's where I got the tequila for me. It came off like, like I got like the, the college, um, memories of Patron <laughs> all, all came back. Wow. You know what? It actually plays kind of well together. I wasn't really sure what to think of this one. So this is actually getting more citrusy as I drink it too. More of like a, more like an orange type spice is coming to the forefront. Man, even on the nose, I feel like the tequila is starting to come through a little more and more here. Let's give it another go. It's actually surprisingly sweet and I feel like I get more of the Jack Daniels Tennessee whiskey notes than I do tequila. Like I said, I think the tequila notes really kind of surprise you a little bit on the back end of this. I feel like the apple and the pear and some of those notes that I do get from Jack Daniels are all there, including the little hint of banana, but I feel like there's this elevated, usually those will take over, especially if you're drinking a lower proof Jack Daniels. Now this is only 90 proof, so I feel like the tequila finish is actually elevating the caramel butterscotch and some of the other more typical notes you get uh, from just using a, you know, a bourbon barrel or a Jack Daniels barrel or the same barrel. <laughs> Even at 90 proof, there's a nice spice to it. It's it's interesting. As far as like, you know, when I say interesting, it doesn't mean it's bad. I think people hear the word interesting like, oh, that's bad. It's not that it's bad, it's just different. You know, when you take such an iconic flavor profile like Jack Daniels and then you mess with it, whether it be a toasted barrel, whether it be a sherry finish, whether it be whatever it may be, in this case, a tequila finish, which they've never done before, I feel like you don't always know what to expect. So I think my brain is still trying to process it, but let's do it one more sip here. So it really, for me, it turns into like orange blossom honey. Orange blossom honey with some spice, some black pepper. Then it kind of goes into a little more of the traditional Jack Daniels notes where you have um, this, um, like this burst of like that, like that banana split kind of on the back end. It's not like that dark, like bananas foster type banana note that you get with like the barrel proof. It's a little bit brighter, more light and I think it kind of plays with that orange blossom honey because it's a little bit floral too, which I think is from the tequila. I think it actually plays really well together. This is an interesting release. I'm not sure how far they're gonna take this or if they're gonna make this a bigger release, but I actually really like how this is playing together. So, so all in all, if you're traveling through Tennessee or you live in Tennessee, this might be one I would think you would wanna try because there's nothing overly tequila about it. And I do think that this plays a nice balance between the flavors you love from Jack Daniels and also the uh, the flavors that tequila can bring to the table when it comes to a finish. You know, being only about 42 bucks and 90 proof 375 milliliter bottle, I think this one is worth worth trying. I, I'm actually digging this and I'm gonna have fun putting this in blind tastings for people and see what they think. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this review here on the Master and Drum as we tasted the new Jack Daniels Distillery Series number 11, which is finished, which is a Jack Daniels finished in Añejo tequila barrels. I uh, really think it's unique. Let me know what you think uh, in the comments. Is this something that scares you off? Or is this something you really want to try? Because it's Jack Daniels doing it. And I think, I think they did a really good job at this finish. So uh, let me know down in the comments what you think. Uh, if you haven't yet, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter. Make sure you like, subscribe. And as I always say, it's not about the whiskey, it's the people you share it with. Cheers, guys. I'll see you next time right here on The Master and Drum. And don't worry, I know what you're thinking. I should do a blind of all of these and see what comes out on top. And that is coming. Cheers, guys.